how often do you get to go out in the middle of the ocean and stand on it? <laughs> and you know, you look around and there's all these, these boulders of ice and there could be a polar bear behind there and it's just a pretty cool place to be. There's been a report of ice in the area. <laughs> So this is a nice piece of ice you can see here. You, you can see how thick that piece of ice is. That got rafted up on top of the piece of ice that we're standing on. And, and that's probably about the same thickness based on the measurement we took over there of the ice we're standing on. So that gives you an idea how thick this is. And then underneath you can see these icicles hanging down underneath. And that's brine that was contained in the sea ice that's now dripped through and, and frozen when it's come into contact with the, the cold air. And, if you take a sample of that, you'll get a pretty good salt shock. The, the concentration of the brine in those icicles is uh, probably three or four times what you might find in the seawater underneath us. Mmm, Beaufort Sea. The runnels where it's also Oh drift. yeah, you can see yeah. where it runs down. Huh? Yeah, yeah. On the other side. Yeah, it's like it's it's mm, mm, pretty salty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In fact, it's a lot saltier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, no, that, that's a lot saltier than the, the water underneath us, even. So I think this is how thick the ice was at basically at the end of summer. So, so it, it was, the this is the multi-year portion. I, I, I'll have to take the salinity measurements to find out for sure. This is the, what we call columnar ice, the new ice that, the first year columnar ice that grew this year. We'll but we'll take this back, we'll cut it into pieces and essentially measure how much salt is in each piece. That'll confirm my sort of field it analysis. That this is the old one. ice that survived yep. the summer. This is the new ice, um, and then we'll send it off for ice and analysis as well. Yeah, 129 is the actual core length. So right now we're back here in Barrow, and I'm taking the cores that we collected when we landed out on the sea ice some 10, 20, 30 miles north of here. And I'm cutting it up into sections so that we can melt each of those sections individually and basically measure how much salt is in the sea ice. How much of the sea salt that was in the, the seawater originally, how much of that gets trapped into the ice. And that can tell us a bit about how old the ice is, potentially how fast the ice grew, and a lot of the other properties of the sea ice, its strength, its ability to be a habitat for microorganisms, a lot of that is dependent on the salinity of the sea ice. Getting saltier. So these are quite important measurements we're making here to be able to sort of understand more about the sea ice that we were standing on. Mm -hmm.